call a lull you how up by shame you shy right we give double we give double on say apostles and elders of great mills and rule well and salutations to the akemos they push you wouldn't know truth and truth and and in sincerity the in and the out we say shalom right it's only by some gms trend and east my name is rai and you know just to go into a little a little topic right um about it being sincere or just sincere on the whole right you know because you have to be sincere to to this work or to this or to what you're doing because not many not much men are sincere so they don't have that have that um, that genuine um feeling feeling towards what they do you know hey men out there will be sincere to other things to the women to the children to whatever it is but they wouldn't be sincere towards the work right and really and truly supposed to be sincere towards the work right because here yeah, they use the word sin- sincerity but are they truly sincere right because this this just to put up the, the meaning of of sincere right free from pretense or deceit prece- proceeding from genuine feelings so it's like being genuine you know um pre- it's a free from pretense or deceit so you know you're not doing it in in, in the pretense and a pretense um mindset or that that, that deceitful um way you know and and that we say for them not doing it in sincerity yeah because you know it are men that just doing it in 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 pretense like like other men that fall out men that leave and just want to scoff you know and you know just just to really and truly be sincere to what what it is you're doing man you know um I'll pull one or two scriptures you know Yeah, because you know idea you ought to be sincere straight on to the end we we didn't want to be nothing else other than sincere you know um right, right um this is second corinthians eight verse um outside from verse seven right it said therefore as ye abound in everything in faith and utterance and knowledge and in diligence and in your love to us see that ye are bound in grace also right because really and truly is if, if it was the things that you see it's therefore as ye are bound in everything in faith and utterance and in knowledge so you know you are bounded you know being in that it's like being sincere to something because you generally want to be there you just don't want to just want to be around because our brother tell you be around right and i say and and your love to us see that you are bound in this grace also he say i speak not by commandment but by occasion of the forwardness of others and to prove and to prove the sincerity of your love yeah because it approve yourself you know given the legends um doing these things you really really and truly you have as as they mentioned you say i'm um, in faith and in utterance and in knowledge and in diligence you know because it's it because really and truly it'll prove your love you know to prove that sincerity not just say you're sincere and you're not really doing any work you're not really not really doing anything matter of fact so then you're not being sincere you're not proving your love you know you're not being genuine not to the brothers or to your bashem or shy you know and that way that is the thing you know yeah you really and truly you have to be sincere you have to you have to be you have to, you have to, you have to prove you know because even you don't mention um 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 let me see if i get that script here quick you know not just quoting it you know um read that script eight in james right James 2 James 2 I'll start from I'll start let's go I'll just go straight down yeah I'll start from 14 this gym 2 verse 14 it say what doubt the prophet my brethren do a man say you have faith and have no works can faith save him if a brother was right that's all so can faith save him right i'll go to verse 17 now let's see a... 
No hurry. Our motherfucker go, go in now. He say, if your brother and sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say, un, say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what do it profit? Yeah, what, what do it profit? Because, yeah, you, you, you're just seeing something. You come like you're just seeing something when really and truly, yes, your brother or sister naked, they need, they need clothes, right? But you're just telling them, you know what, depart and you're going to be full. So then, then how you being sincere? How you being genuine? You know? So just reading over, it says, if a brother or sister be naked and destitute and of daily food, so they're naked and they're hungry, right? So it are, other, it are many other ways you can put us towards yourself as well, you know? And I say, and one of you say unto them, depart in peace, be, be warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not these things which are needful for the body. So yeah, they're naked, so which means they need clothes, and the destitute of daily food, meaning that they're hungry, so they need food. But you just telling them, you know what, um, I'm going peace and you go be you go be filled, but you ain't giving them nothing. So it's a, it's saying what do the prophet? What what would prophet just saying that? You're just saying something and that is the thing, you know, you, you have to be sincere. You really and truly have to be sincere, right? It say even so, faith, if it had no works, is dead being alone here yeah, because let's go back to the to the to the Corinthians here. See faith being dead without faith being as Faith without works is like a dead, you know. So you have to show, yeah, prove it. Just going back to the to the second Corinthians eight verse eight. It say, "I speak not by commandment, but by occasion, of the forwardness of others, and to prove this, and to prove the sincerity of your love. To prove it, or you, or you just prove something. You have to show, you have to act. So you want to prove your sincerity. You know you go outside there and do the works, and then be sincere to what it is you do, man." So you're going to say you do your works, you do your videos, you know, you teach as you could, you know, you edify, that is proving your love, you know, even proving, to, proving your love towards your brothers and we know, we know that, you, you, you prove your love, to, you're being sincere, you're being genuine, you're not doing it all underneath false pretense, or as the meaning say, you know, so going back to the James now, you say, yeah, and one of you say, um, verse 18, you know, you say, yeah, a man, Say thou hast faith and have no works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. And that is being sincere, because you're being sincere with it. You know, you will show, you will prove, as the scriptures say, you will prove. You know? So, yeah, so it's really being sincere. You have to be sincere with this thing, and how you go be sincere to show that, not just by saying it. You know, not, not, not just by saying sincerity so it's a oh, that way when you open him you just say for the for the arc, I'm not doing it in all truth and sincerity you know so let's jump to the next scripture you know So this is Titus 2 verse 7. It says here. Verse 7 verse 6 says, Young men likewise exhort to be sober minded in all things, showing yourself a pattern of good works. You know, and you're showing, it's basically showing yourself. You know, it says in doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity. Yes, yeah, so. Your sincerity plays all parts, man. You really and truly have to be sincere with this thing. You just can't be saying it and not showing it, you know? You know, yeah, that was just being sincere, right? Showing that sincerity. Just don't say it, man, but do it because men, men go just say, you know, um, hey, you know, um, this brother tell me do this or the brothers tell me do that. I was I was watching a um, video. Uh, the the brothers and them from Mississippi pop. You know you have to be self minded in this thing. Yeah, you know that how you know you're sincere as well. When you start to do a thing for yourself too, not because a man telling you to do it, but just because you know you have to do it in sincerity. You know you have to be genuine. It is as as you mean and the sincere. Say, to be genuine, right?
Alright, so we we'll go to the next script uh, here now. Philippians um, 1 verse 10. Let's see here. I'll start from verse. Start from verse 9, right? It say, and this and this I pray that you love me abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment. Right? So you are bound in all these things. So it say verse 10, it say that ye may approve things that are excellent. Right? That ye may ye may be sincere and without offense till the day of Mashiach. Right? And that is the thing, you know, um, um you know, you're being sincere. I say, hey, sincere plays many roles, man. You understand? Really and truly. That you have to be sincere. You have to be circumspect in your mind as well. You have to be, you have to be, um, how to put it? You have to be um, fully persuaded in your mind to be sincere to this thing. You know, it's better to, it's better you be sincere than, than not being sincere. It's better you leave than, than not being sincere. Because this thing goes full fault. You, you, you know, you're sincere to the end, man. You know, you're sincere to the end. Always remember that. You have to be sincere to the end. Right? So one more script here and I'll close it off. I'll close it off with this last script here. here. Let's go for this one script here. This is Joshua chapter 24. Verse 14, it said, no, it said, No, therefore fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth. You have to serve the Lord in sincerity and in truth. You understand? You have to be true, you have to be genuine to the Lord. You understand? You just can't be saying it and not doing it, man. That is that I said that I want to bring on the James 4 to prove it. You prove your faith, I'll show you my faith by my works. You're proving yourself. You understand? It said, Now therefore fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth. You understand? You're going outside there, you're going outside there, you're teaching the word, you're teaching the fruits, you're teaching the younger men. You know? To be sincere. You know? So you say, and serve him in sincerity and in truth, and put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood, and in Egypt, and ye serve ye the Lord. Right, so you have to be sincere. Right, truly, how about Hashem, you know, really and truly have to be sincere. It say, verse 15, now let's read verse 15, right? It say, and if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, so if it, if, if, if it, even for you to be sincere to the Lord, choose, choose you this day whom you will serve. Right, whether the gods which ye, which your father served that you were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell. But as for me, and my house, we will serve the Lord, right? And that is what it is. We, 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 if me myself, I serve the Lord. I choose the Arab Hashem of Shai. I'll be sincere to that. You understand what I'm saying, right? So I'll be sincere to that. So you, you make your decision. Who you want to be sincere to? You want to be sincere to the Arab Hashem of Shai or some bullshit, right? For but for me, and my house, as the scripture say, we will, we will serve the Lord and we'll be sincere to that, right? So. Right, so with that, we give our praises to Yahweh by Hashem of Shai. We sit down and see the apostles and elders of great mercy and rule well. And salutation to the Akim also, they push in the wood and the truth and sincerity day in and day out. This is one of the brothers from GMS, and at the East, my name is Rai, we see Shalom.